and welcome to Heli's clinical trial adventures and the day is finally here to start taking some drugs or are they drugs I don't know okay I've been talking about these things so I'm sure I built it up so you guys might think that it's gonna be you know this size drugs they are pretty massive so look this is my normal um, tablets that I take um, for my DMDs and these oops <laughs> and these are the capsules that I'll be taking um, I'll be taking seven of these that's quite a lot so is that I don't know if you can see but that's seven right there <laughs> I did ask the doctor when I saw him if you were supposed to take them all at one go or others what I meant was do I spread it out during the day and he was going no you don't just take them all like this and go oh. uh, <laughs> which I'm thankful for but anyway <laughs> so uh, I don't really have anything else to tell you since the last update because I have not been at any books today um, and I was given the drugs last time um, so these ones says um, Bexarotene or placebo. Oh, we've solved the mystery of what they're actually called. They're Bexarotene, not Bexarotene. Um, I had a very interesting conversation with uh, one of my colleagues today who was saying that actually when you don't know how to pronounce a drug you're almost at a bit of disadvantage straight away. Um, it's like say that you would go into a pharmacy and instead of asking for paracetamol you would go paracetamol and they would all uh, tourists <laughs> and that's what it wouldn't feel like when you don't even know what the drugs that you are asking for are called um, which are the case with most of the MS drugs because they do have a lot of crazy names um, and they, I think they just try and up each other the drugs companies to try and make them even more complicated um, so, not Bexarotene, as I've called them before, but Bexarotene. Um, my colleague and I decided that maybe we'll just call them Bexies. So, <laughs> so okay, I'm going to try and drop some Bexies. Uh, let's see how it goes. So, <laughs> I got water. Um, but also people can advise me that maybe it would be good to take it with smoothie or milk or something like that. Um, I don't really drink a lot of milk, uh, only in my coffee, maybe. So, <laughs> so I opted for some kind of yogurt milk, um, yogurty milkshakey thing. So, okay, let's take my disease modifying drugs first so I don't forget about it. That was fine. Ooh. That was sweet. Okay, let's try them. So, we're sure that it's seven of them. Okay, if I suffocate, then uh, yes, my husband was around here somewhere, so hopefully he'll come and save me. Otherwise, this might make for very entertaining um, viewing. Here we go. <coughs> okay, <laughs> that does feel like it gets stuck on my face. <laughs> it's gonna get boring watching me do all these sevens. Maybe I'll fast forward it for you. <laughs> Maybe I should have this instead of dinner. <laughs> it's quite <laughs> like gonna be taking up a lot of space. Oh, <clears throat> that one went down the wrong pipe. Not really. <coughs> Not. <coughs> Don't be a baby, Heli. Come on. <laughs> Man up. Last one. <laughs> okay. Mm, they're not easy to swallow. <laughs> but they're smooth, so they kind of do go down, go, go down without getting stuck. They're not powdery or anything like that. So so that's a plus um, so having um, 
a bit of Emma's cog fog. I do sometimes forget to take my my um, um, pills. Um, so I'm really hoping, and I was going to be relying on that husband who's over there. We can't see him um, to remind me every night now to take these things. It kind of feels like remembering to take seven pills should be easier than to remember to take one because this <coughs> is not something you completely forget that quickly how annoying that was. All right. Well, I haven't like grown any horns or anything yet, so that's that's a start. Um, um, what else I need to do? So I need to fill in this diary thing, which will basically just say that I have taken seven tablets. Because um, what I need to do when I go to the next appointment, which will be next Tuesday, so in a week's time, is to bring the remains uh, of the drugs that I have and my diary and then they will check that I've actually taken them. So if I have forgotten, then I'll have to confess to that. If I've said that I've taken seven and they count them out and they know that <laughs> she has not gotten her maths right, um, they'll know that as well. Um, so if I start feeling sick or if I start feeling headachey or anything that's sort of out of the norm, I will need to drop a note um, to the nurse and the doctor involved in this. So I guess that's it really. Not terribly exciting, but um, I can tell you that they were not that fun to swallow, but they weren't as horrible as I thought it was going to be.